Hey guys, 2020 Eagle Man here today with another wax break. Today's wax break is going to be a blaster box war between 2018 Series 1 and Series 2. So the way it's going to work, I'm going to open up each blaster box and see which blaster box has the better output of cards. I kind of stole this from one channel. It's the uh, Jabs Family channel. He posts some great baseball card content. You should go ahead and check him out. But he does a similar thing where he gets some blaster box and he picks the top five cards from each blaster box and see... Uh, which blaster produced the best cards. I'm going to do a little bit different. I'm just going to pick out all of the best cards and see which blaster box overall is the better one. So, obviously, um, Series 2 here is a little bit more um, higher priced on the market right now than Series 1, but you never know. So, I'm going to start with Series 1, and we'll open this guy up. Where is my box cutter? Okay, let's get this going. I'm thinking, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pick the sleeper here. I'm thinking Series 1 is going to take away it with the victory. So each box has 101 cards. So we get over 200 cards to be looking at. But uh, yeah, let's see what Series 1 will produce. I'm rooting for Series 1. It's the underdog. This stuff is dirt cheap right now on the market. But uh, yeah. Go ahead and see what series one. Of course, we get the uh, commemorative patch. We'll open that. Yeah, we'll open that right now. Let's see what uh, this gives us. So we got Daniel Murphy. Like the uh, what is this? The MLB Players Weekend commemorative patch. Pretty cool. A lot of people don't like these these manufactured patches. Uh, I don't really mind them too much. I think they're kind of cool, especially if you get a good player. So let's open up this first pack, Series 1. Okay, John Lester, Aaron Nile, Luis Severino, Chris Davis, Canseco, 83 insert, Ben Attendee, opening day. There's the uh, Tim Anderson. Is that a short print? It is not a short print. I keep thinking that was a short print. Uh, George Springer in the World Series, Cheater, you know. And then we got uh, Aaron Judge, Tops Now insert. Nothing too crazy so far. All right, next pack. Mitch Moreland, Chris Davis again. Daniel Murphy, Eric Cosmer, Silver Slugger Award winner. Legends in the Making, Yu Darvish. And your Rosario, Refinador, Gary Sanchez. Okay. Nothing too crazy to put up against Series 2. I mean, Series 2 has got some. Some nice rookies. It's obviously got everyone's known um, favorite bat down. Short print, Acuna. Uh, Miguel and Har rookie. Nice. That one's pretty good. Set that one aside. Brian Anderson rookie. Krishna Arroyo. Uh, what insert is this? Memorial Day insert, I think. Not sure. We've got Chris Bryant opening day. Matt Joyce. Is this a short print? It is not. I just think like these horizontal cards. I always think they're short prints. Got uh, Kluber, who's on the Rangers right now. And then Jay Bruce. So that Andrew Haar is a good rookie. Good rookie to start with. Okay, Ryan Braun. Uh, Brandon Woodruff rookie. Clint Fraser rookie. That's not awful. Eh, yeah, I'll hold on to it. It's not bad, though. Robinson Cano got these home run challenges, which are kind of cool. I like the concept that Tops was going for. Uh, Chase Utley, Washington Nationals, and Buster Posey. Pretty cool. It would be pretty crazy to get a hit out of these, but I know it's kind of tough to get a hit out of retail. Martin Prado, Matt Adams, uh, Yon Moncada, Future Stars card. Chris Davis, Justin Upton, 83. Yuan Moncada, opening day. Got the Phillies, Logan Forsyth. Okay, nothing in that pack. Nothing really going for us. Best card so far is still that Andujar. All right, let's see what's in this one. Nick Marcakis, Polanco. Steven Strasburg, Zach Greinke, uh, Superstar Sensations, Anthony Rizzo, Will Myers, Legends in the Making, uh, Jack Flaherty, Rookie, nice. 
So that one's not too bad. We'll set him aside. Uh, Arenado and Fowler. So two decent rookies. Good amount of inserts. Ooh, this one I tore pretty poorly. Come on, there you go. Okay, Let's see here. Aaron Judge League Leaders card. Dansby Swanson, Mother's Day. Joey Votto, Opening Day. David Peralta, David Dahl, Mike Leak. Okay, another dud of a pack. Series 1 is not putting up to the hype I was projecting it to be. Okay, Cesar Hernandez from the Tribe right now. Second baseman for them. Uh, another Aaron Judge here. It's the Gold Rookie Cup card. That one's pretty cool. I will set that one aside. Uh, we got a Yon Moncada Rainbow Foil. Future Stars card. That one's really cool. Uh, Francisco Lindor, Legends in the Making. Eric Hosmer. Is that a short print? It is not. Come on. That totally looks like a short print. I just haven't opened up too much. Uh, 2018 tops, I guess. I uh, do have a handful of hobby boxes of Series 1 and Series 2 that I've been waiting to open. I've been kind of sitting on them now, because I know Series 2 has really increased in value lately. So I've been sitting on those. I might open up the Series 1 hobby boxes just for fun. Let's see here. Clevenger. Uh, Reese Hoskins rookie. That's all right. Set him aside. That's a decent rookie. Austin Hayes. Uh, Moncada 83. Lindor opening day. And Anthony Rendon there. Okay, we're down to the last pack. Nothing too fancy from this one. But we'll see what this last pack produces. Adam Wainwright, Iglesias, uh, Richard Jarena, Corey Kluber. We got uh, Byron Buxton, Fielding Award, Yadier Molina, Opening Day, Angels Team Card, and then more commons. So, kind of a dud of a box, not gonna lie. So we got a bunch of base commons right here. We got the uh, the patch. Got three decent rookies: Hoskins, uh, Flaherty, and Andujar. And then we got the Judge um, Rookie Cup Future Stars car, which was kind of cool. And of course, we got our bunch of inserts. Nothing too crazy as far as inserts goes. Uh, I think the best one was probably this Moncada Rainbow Foil. So that one was kind of decent. And the rest are basically just some, you know, your regular stars' names on inserts. So nothing too crazy with that. Hopefully, uh, Series 2 will put up a good fight. So, let's go ahead and open up Series 2. This is the one that's been selling for quite a bit online. I acquired this box um, in my one of my recent mail days, and I got it for really, really cheap. So I got it on a steal. This stuff has been just going crazy on eBay right now. All right, Series 2 Blaster. Of course, if we pull the uh, the bat down short print, like that's it's over. Game over. Series 2 will take it away. Okay, so we got the one exclusive Independence Day commemorative batch. So this one will be different. Let's see who we get. Mookie Betts, nice. These ones are really cool. I actually like these better than Series 1, so... Series 2 is already beating Series 1 in that respect. Pretty cool. Really good looking. It's got a nice texture to that, too. Okay, let's see. First pack, Series 2. 2018 tops. Got Logan Morrison. Ryan Braun insert, and we start with the gold. I love gold cards, so already a really good look for Series 2. Austin Hedges, numbered out of 2018. That one's really nice. Ahmed Rosario, rookie, 83. Charlie Blackman, Legends in the Making. And regular base after that. So nice, good first pack so far. And tore that one pretty badly. There we go. Okay, let's see here. Carlos Martinez, Chicago Cubs. We got an Austin Hayes. Um, what is this? Something. Rookies insert. And then after that, I got a Victor Robles rookie card. Future stars. That one's really cool. Set him aside. 
And then Dustin Pedroia, Justin Verlander. Okay. Series 2 is definitely making a lot of ground in Series 1 right now. This pack feels a little bit thicker for some reason. Let's see what this is about. If it is thicker or not. Let's see how Goodrum, Dodgers, uh, Ronald Torres. Uh, long ball leaders, Anthony Rizzo. Cool insert. New Darvish. I don't know why that one felt... That one just felt thicker for some reason. It only had one insert in it. Kind of odd. Okay, next pack here. Philip Evans, rookie. Mark Leader Jr. Cody Allen, Ben Zobrist. Got uh, Aaron Nala, future stars insert. Albert Pujols, legends in the making. Bradley Zimmer, Jordan Montgomery, and David Price. Okay, pack. I think uh, no great rookies coming out of Series 2 so far. So far, I think Series 1 still has the lead. We'll see how Series 2 finishes off. There's still a lot of packs to open up. Sean Newcomb, Alex Mejia rookie. And Revere Syndergaard. There's another Syndergaard, 83 tops. And, of course, for the hollow foil, we can get uh, Correa and El Tuve. The Cheaters. It's kind of a trash card to get. Pun intended there. So we'll set them there, I suppose. Legend of the Making, Strasburg. Chris Bryant and Jan Gomes. Nice. Could have been a better pack. The, uh, the uh, Mancata hollow foil there is definitely the better hollow foil, in my opinion. Okay, let's see what we got here. Chris O'Grady, rookie. Christian Villanueva, rookie. Andrew Tolls. Uh, Francisco Mejia, rookie, which a lot of people, I think, are overlooking right now. He is an outstanding catcher. Um, the Indians traded him, I believe. I'm not sure where they traded him. But he's definitely got a lot of power in him, so um, I'll, I'll consider that a good rookie for now. An okay rookie. And we got Dansby Swanson insert there. And more commons. So Series 2, pretty close to Series 1 right now. They're hanging in there. Pretty even for the most part. Reds, Rays, Abreu, Instant Impact insert, Danny Santana. That one is a short print. Oh, no, it is not. Darn it. I'm going to catch one of these short prints soon. And Gilman Herrera. I keep thinking these are short prints. I am. I got to open up these Holly boxes. I got to learn my short prints. So there we go. Jose Martinez, Brandon Crawford, Kurt Suzuki. Now that totally looks like a short print. It's got to be. But it is not. Hunter Renfro, Future Stars. Ahmed Rosario, Rookie, Legends in the Making. Not too bad. Not too bad. I'll, yeah, I'll set him aside. Cameron Maven, Matthew Boyd, Kenny Vargas. So yeah, let me know if you guys like this format. I have a ton more blaster boxes to crack open. So I can do more of these blaster box wars, even pack wars or hobby box wars. Let me know if you guys like this format. Uh, making a little bit of fun rather than just opening up one box at a time. It might get a little bit bland, but check this card out. Power up. Zimmerworth. <laughs> it's kind of creative. Like when Tops does those types of cards. Uh, Thomas Nito rookie. David Wright. Houston Astros team card. Of course. Of course. 2017 World Series champions with an asterisk on it. Of course. JP Crawford rookie. And Matt Holiday, Jeremy Hellickson. So these two boxes are, I think, dead even in my opinion. It might come down to this very last pack of Series 2. Let's see if it can pull out a clutch moment. See what we got. Alex Meyer, Mike Miner, San Francisco Giants, Minnesota Twins, Ted Williams. So I like this one. Legends... Uh, Legends card. That's pretty cool. Ted Williams. I like it. We'll set it aside. We get a gold card. Of course, I love gold cards. 
that might take it away for Series 2. It's up Travis Wood, not a big name in my opinion, but still gold cards I absolutely love. Ryan McMahon, rookie card. Then we get Bryce Harper. And our last two, both Rockies, Jonathan LaCroix and Charlie Blackman. So that'll do it for the Blaster Box War. Let's see who I think wins this war. So tons of commons for both Blaster Boxes. As far as the commemorative patch goes, as I said, I think Series 2 takes away the winner there. Uh, as far as rookies go, I think Series 1 had, I think, better rookies. I mean, we had the Andrew Hard, the Jack Flaherty, and the Reese Hoskins. Not too bad. Uh, not too many base insert or base rookies from Series 2. All we had was Ahmed Rosario, Francisco Mejia, and Victor Robles. Not bad names to get, but Series 2 did have two gold cards in it. Travis Wood had the cool Ted Williams insert, which I really liked. And where's that other gold at? Um, the hollow foil definitely took away some some value to the Series 2, I think. Um, what else was in here? Um, the Ahmed Rosario rookie, kind of cool. And then the Austin Hedges gold. So the two gold cards kind of took it away, to be honest. Not the most valuable parallel, but I love gold cards. So there you guys have it. That'll do it for today's Blaster Box Wars. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this format. If you guys did, go ahead and uh, comment below what other boxes you want to see me open up for a nice Blaster Box War. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video. If you did, like and subscribe for more to come. And I'll see you guys next time.